listening closely. We doing our own thing, but we doing this for the culture. Check out the topic. Check out the topic. Don't be the subject. Don't be the subject. We keep it pop. Hey, we keep it pop. You can be up next. You can be up next. We are more than culture. 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 We are more than culture. More than culture. Hey, we're the last four boys at the foster home, also, <laughs> no, also no. known as More Than Culture. Do you have a business or not? Come to the More Than Culture program. And you can place your ad here, right on our show. You can have companies such as... Trim Hedges. Mm, we Pres advertise it. Pressure Wash Dryways. We'll advertise it. If you got a soccer game coming soon, we'll advertise it. Hey, even if you cut grass or hell. <laughs> This it ain't is a no budget out of to get them. you to do a commercial. Mm. Solicitation commercial. You should have been said. <laughs> That's a shirt. That's a shirt. <laughs> I need them to know too, cause your your money, we finna we're gonna pop your business up. It ain't gonna be like when you watching Discovery and there be a nigga in the corner of the thing, like, hey, <laughs> she waxes his bikini. Get off of all. More than culture is the brand. Hey, this are we ready? Culture show. No, we done started. Yeah, man, they watch. Man, we've been starting. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all talk like this on a regular, like cameras off. Not happy. Talk like this for the last yeah, hour. Yeah, we all we in it. <laughs> you know, you know. Make sure you was gonna get your cue. We got you. Uh, we got you. Yeah. Make sure the audio. All right, man. Word. More than culture is the brand. It's the more than culture show. Remo Rod. Tyler Chronicles. Ronnie Jordan. Yes, sir. And and we on here on a special day. First special of all, shout day. out to. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Griffin, in my grip, what's the name of this Mix haberdashery, Mix man. We on Ponce, we on historical Ponce. Yeah. Came in here De Leon. Yeah, came in here on an uh, emergency, uh, emergency meeting. <laughs> emergency <laughs> pull emergency up. Emergency staff meeting with the homie. Come man. on, Come on listen, man. Listen, listen, he don't do this. He, I haven't yeah. seen it. He does not do this. Yeah. If, he interviews, you know what I'm saying? What you about to say? I'm saying, if black man don't cheat was a person. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, now. <laughs> don't do interviews. Don't Come do on, interviews, bro. bro. Uh, first off, uh, Supreme athlete, if people don't know. You know Bro, so shit. I did not Houston, know he could ball. Oh, all, all American, both sports. All American basketball, football. Sorry. Hold on, we're going to get into a position. We're going to get into a position. Yeah, we get into all that. Um, get into what you say? Yeah, that was oh, man. He, he, <laughs> he's the pause police right now. He's just looking, <laughs> he's just looking for all the pauses. I ain't know From all the pauses. I, 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 I just didn't hear what you said. No, nah, We're getting into positions. Yeah, I did. It's all five men. It's going to five grown men. We're going to get into positions. We got pause cousins in Yeah, yeah. They play cousins. If you get into positions, you got a little tattoo gloves. Yeah, like that. Tattoo gloves. Bro, they put a whole female playlist up before we shot. You think I ain't gonna have that bang hang out? What you talking about? Bing bong. Bing bong. You see these, see these dogs in your yard? Yo, you know I'm upstairs. Yo. Oh. <laughs> Take two, dude. Um, you know what I'm saying? Young legend in battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Broke all the records. Broke all the records. From, and, and came from a place where people wasn't really known for battle rap. Came to New York and was just destroying niggas. Mm. Came from St. Cuss, Louis. Cuss niggas on, out. Man. Uh, mm -hmm. Actor. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, do show, BT, games, oh, people shit. play. Come you know on, man. Come on, man. Uh, 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 prove him wrong. Appreciate album just came out. Yeah. 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 Come on, yeah. man. Yeah. Black man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Wilding out extraordinaire, you know what oh, I'm saying? On, and aspiring comedian, which we definitely got to talk about. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Get it. Hey, so, <laughs> hey man, so uh, you had a hell of a morning, huh? Man, boy. Bro, <laughs> Please catch it's, us. Good morning started at 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> at 2 a.m. What are you doing? Bro, oh, man, it's, I hate being famous, bro. I can't do nothing, bro. Like, it's just right. I made a little close friends, mm -hmm. me and my lady friends. Like right. you know what I'm saying? We got a group of friends. They got I mean they close friends. Oh, they, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We you know, me and cinnamon be fun. We we just show a little something some over here and there. <laughs> Somebody we had a we had a rat in it. We had a rat every in the close time. Friends. Oh, it's really? always one. Every time, I think I woke up this morning and I seen the headline, Hitman Sex Tape Leak. I said, Yeah, let me get him out. Get out of there. Let me see what Steph Curry did. Like, <laughs> I'm only hit the algorithm too long, bro. Yeah. I said, oh, man. Please. I got out of there. And if, how you going? Y'all know who, oh, my bad. Y'all know who did it? Y'all feel Nah, because uh, like I said, I had about, I only followed 400 people. Right. Mm -hmm. 
and I really have a lot of really are people I consider close friends from like I got like 10 close friends in every city if yeah. I really wanted to take it there but so I only got like 30 it's like 30 females a lot of females that we travel with and right. just, you know little stuff like that they was in there so every time I go to a name I'm like she wouldn't do that because I'm in her and she, you know, she loves it like I just yeah. I didn't know so I'm like damn Look, canceled all the close friends. I, oh, I, I, they had to shut down the close, close friends. Friend. Nice I had that close girl. friend since 2020. So I've been posting stuff mm. like that since 2020. Yeah, and somebody finally gave it up. November 5th. Dude, well, they was my wife was November. watching Wild and Not So Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck wrong with you? <laughs> She's like, what's going on? Wild and Not So What was the first phone call you got, yo? What was the first phone call you got this morning? You said it started at 2 a.m. Yeah, 2 a.m. So when I woke up, well, my little brother called, show. Show, show out, show man. Out you know, <laughs> legend would say, come on, yo. I thought you were going to jump out the back. I know, come here. You know, watch. Pop up, boy. Show, show called me like, hey. You know, because it's what, what kicked it off was St. Louis Facebook. So when oh, my really? city got a hold to it, so what I think happened is somebody screen recorded November 5th, because that's when I posted that stuff, and they probably put it out by then. But I think when my city got it, yeah, that's, that's awesome. when it went out so he was like well st louis facebook is going crazy i'm like what he said all the girls keep saying where hitman at where hitman at yeah. <laughs> so i'm like so i get on twitter i search my name on twitter because i only i don't go i ain't got well i got facebook but i don't, I don't be on there. my yeah. manager running so i went to twitter search hitman holler and all it was just girls with all memes and and it was a, the one funny meme was like cinnamon about to be in dens. Like, I, I, I hope you ready to die about that, nigga. I'm ready to go to war for it. I'm ready to go to war for it. Oh my God, nigga. So I'm like, man, what happened? And this time I haven't saw nothing. So I'm like, I, I ain't know what happened, bro. So but then like, the girl sent it to me. Like, somebody screamed with one of your close friends. And I had like, it was our anniversary. So I, was, I asked my close friend, like, you want me to post the sweet stuff? Five years of being cinnamon or the nasty stuff. And all the girls like nasty, post the nasty. Yeah. So I post like eight videos for them, and they recorded all. They put in a compilation <laughs> oh, and man, put it you out. Edited your shit. Oh, it's like two million views, bro. I they said the compilation. Yeah, they put a compilation <laughs> like this. Nigga got a six hours. compilation, bro. <laughs> that's like, look at this nigga. Listen, I salute that nigga in the bathroom. I'm going to talk like, nigga, you bigger than that shit. <laughs> what do you mean? Whoa. No, I was taking the shit and I saw the uh I saw his, I saw his, I saw his No, I saw his retort to it and was oh, like, okay, we've been yeah, doing yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. He's like, we got I got 30 yeah. close friends. I was like, you clear that up. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. it sounded yeah. nuts. Yeah. Yeah. I heard I was in the bathroom oh, I was looking at like you go here, man. I'm like, you go here. Oh, I saw the like, 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 taking the shit. Yeah, I can't get this out of Boy. Man. So like I said, I said a lot of people making a big deal about it, but what I'm saying is me and my lady got to understand it. Like, she and my close friends, she know everybody in there. We got to understand it. A lot of people make it seem like I just posted on the timeline for the world. Like, I hope your mama see this. Like, that ain't what happened. How did get on the motherfucker that got to it and wanted to Yeah, that, so yeah. that's right. So like, a lot of people like, why would he do it like that? Like, listen, I don't, I mind, we mind our business. You ain't gonna never see me under your comments like Tyler. Why you do your girl like that? Yeah. Or they can take your girl out there. Like I don't, I don't stand. <laughs> I, I mind my business. You take your girl. My girl, <laughs> my girl. We five years in. They see us on a we relationship goes all they over. I love it. They know how I treat her. Why would you think I just up and just sex tape on the timeline? Like, Move. The yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you touch so, the bottom, right. baby. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> I, I, I was like, ah, I can't do it. The thing that be getting most getting me the most is I hate when they like attack her. I can deal with it. Man. I've been dealing with it. I can have five thousand tweets about me, dog me cool. I hate when she why, why y'all even talking? She ain't do nothing. All right. But you know what I'm saying? But yeah. did what she was supposed to do right. on what y'all saw. So y'all acting like she like I, I just hate that. So that's what get me mad. I gotta clear up stuff. Like, listen, y'all, I did not do cinema like that. I didn't post her without her consent and all this dumb ass shit y'all saying, bro. Like, man, my girl, we gotta understand it. We had fun. So, but you, you gotta know how shit was gonna how shit gonna go from when you did the prank shit and how crazy. I that know. Went. And that was man. they hate listen, they hate it. What was the prank shit? I missed that. Oh, prank shit, yeah, that was why so I, I I did a prank on cinnamon. Like she wanted to start a YouTube. Mm -hmm. So my thing, I was like, yo, I only know how to do to get people attention. I only know how to be real. Like, I don't know with the fake stuff. Hey, you throw this water on me and I throw yeah, coffee yeah. on you. We not, right. I'm a, we, I do pranks, but I'm going to do real pranks. Yeah, mm -hmm. She was like, yeah, that's why you two, I want, I really want you to help me. Let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> so, the first prank, so the first prank I did, 
took it to the gym. I already told all fellas, I'm, a, I'm just gonna start talking crazy to everybody in the gym. I'm gonna fight everybody, I'll jump me. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, the first time. So, so, she, yeah. so she, know, she know I avoid conflict as much as I can when I'm with her, because I know to make it home, I'm out early. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want no small. I got my girl here, we cool. Yeah. So we in there hooping, nigga filed me. Next nigga in here filed me again. <laughs> Everybody getting their ass beat, like, yeah. right. so, or, or, or I think we just lost, or we either lost and on my way, or walking to the bitch, I'm like, man, y'all, all oh, y'all niggas trap, I'm talking crazy, oh, man. <laughs> it's like me, like, 30 niggas, and she's like, hey, I'm like, no, we good, ain't none of these niggas in her own shit, fuck <laughs> 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 y'all on, that's all, I'm talking crazy, she's like, put your, let's go, I'm like, I'm like dude, I had a dude come walk up, so I met him in half court, he just mushed me, oh, <laughs> man. So we kind of like fight. I said, Simmy, give me my bag. I ran, she know, my gun in the back. She she grabbed it. No, no, no. So she was like, no, no, no. She like, no. I'm like, baby, I need it. We need to be in the jungle. Is this the air air up, dog? Air like, see no. So she did give me the bag. So I went back and they all like jumped on me. She was on that screaming, crying. Oh, and everybody just, everybody, everybody just stopped and looked like, got you. She was pissed. Oh, oh my God. Ran I mean, off like on the Mari so show. Man. Wow. So that was the Damn. first one. So the second one was the cheating prank because I knew I've never been in no kind of scandal. Mm -hmm. Ain't no girl never came to her as no woman. I'm mm -hmm. not on no footage. I'm not in no DMs. I'm not nothing. I've never been in five years. Mm -hmm. So I knew that it hit hard because they somebody who would try to do it, they're like, this is six times. We ain't worried about it. So I'm like, this is going to be crazy. <laughs> but I knew, <laughs> yeah, this is six times. We ain't finna watch this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What your boy said? Yeah. You comedians. So um so uh what I'm gonna say, so I'm like, I gotta document it though. I had it all planned because I knew if I just did a cheap prank, everybody was like, Oh, you trying to come up? So I documented from let's say February first. To February 3rd. Each day I was showing what I did, how I got the girl I was gonna use. I had my, my pot was gonna cause cinnamon. I had to put the cameras up in the house to see cinnamon first react. Like I did everything, like document her to this today. Girl's I'm YouTube, like today. Bro. Wow. He got today, I'm like, I'm like, today is February 1st. Yeah. The prank ain't happened yet. Right. Stay with me. Don't, don't think I try to do this after I, So I did it every day because so when it hit the net. I had the girl, I was in the um, bathroom with her, kissing the hole, and, her, yeah. and they was like, it went crazy. Yeah. Even the girl, even the um, niggas, even the uh, niggas nah. she was messing with, because she ain't tell nobody. Oh, so, I, like, Trippy Red was Ooh. in the comments under her stuff, like, oh, 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 <laughs> So, so, Shayla <laughs> put up me cheating. Mm -hmm. Then, they put up Trippy Red comment. Then Snoop coming on the bathroom he was in, like, them, them were like Motel 6 curtains. I, uh, I know where he is. They got on Snoop because a girl got in the comments like, Snoop, but that's where you took me. So they got on Snoop. Oh, oh, so, so, so the plane had like seven, had like seven pictures up on a, a just all layer domino effect. Oh, Jesus! Wow! So they, so they, they, so they killed me. They killed me for like six hours. So I had to wait to drop the footage. I had to wait on my man and edit the footage and all that stuff out though, because I had to wait on her. She, he couldn't edit. Cause I had to wait on her reaction. Right. And, and that day, I had to get the footage from that day. So we had to wait about six hours. He checked it when I put it out. Everybody was like, man, yeah, why we finna see? But then it was documented time, time, time. Mm -hmm. They had to be like, man, this was the greatest. Shave room had to put it up like he got us. You know, I know they was pissed. <laughs> niggas, niggas was going in though. You know yeah, they like, why would you go? Like, why would you? I was in the bathroom taking pictures. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like who would do that? You know what I'm yeah, saying? So they man. was like, hey man, you never. Cross my, like, I never thought you was a cornball. Like, that was so <laughs> stupid. Like, you didn't give me cornball, like, yeah, they, they was going in, so and they found out, like, man, you the greatest ever. That made yeah. me the greatest ever. Like, you can't see niggas' true colors, too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, a lot of niggas, was, man, it was crazy. Like, it's to the point I ain't spoke to niggas since. Like, Damn. instead of wow. just calling me also, yo, they all in the comments. Yeah, this nigga dumb, man. That girl ain't even that bad. Uh, then, then my wow. other friend, like, and then my other friend, like, well, yeah, she bad at this. Like, you only uh, supposed to say that, yeah. like, you. Yeah. Like, I think they get indicted. Yeah, yeah, like, just saying no, so bro. much different stuff. I'm like, why would you? So it's, it showed me a lot. I'm like, I bet, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's how that whole cheating prank happened. Big. And I and I YouTube got like two hundred and like two hundred thousand subscribers in like two weeks. Niggas yeah. tell me that ain't yeah. never happened. Like we was boom. Then I stopped, and I couldn't really. Yeah. 
It just got too, like, it just got weird. Like, they just, the people just get weird, That's bro. That's a lot. I'm old. I'm old. You piped it up, though. You told them you're going to get it piped up. Do the eight hey, niggas do anything for their woman, boy. Yeah, yeah I told her I piped it up for her, too. Got her popping all that. She still, because she got a lot of stuff going on. Like, she, she cooked. She got a cooking page, like oh, okay. she sell turkey legs and mac and cheese and sweet. She sell out oh, every man. time she do them. Y'all get y'all watch this before they yeah. watch this shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Go ahead, <laughs> Go ahead bro. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. snack junkie vegan. <laughs> got yeah. 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 Please, yeah. Yeah. shit. Please, yeah. listen, I get, I get everybody in trouble, bro. My mm. father's called me like, bro, you, you took cinnamon on a day. vacation again. Like, I'm on, bro. Damn, bro. Damn, my girl, I get tired of hearing, like, be like your friend, Hitman. Nah, they ain't can't cool really now. You ain't been nowhere since 2016. If the niggas are smart, they go on their girl phone and block you off of their shit. So Man, they don't boom. Never see it. <laughs> boom. I'm telling you. Block down, But how you gonna battle now and uh, niggas succeed? <laughs> Like they lost already. Uh, they have not. They, they see them battle rappers click. Them they click on this shit. Them niggas, if niggas say that in the battle rap. Niggas it's gonna over say, career. yeah, but the, they, they, they seen. Nah, it. they gonna you say it. They gonna say it. They gonna they gonna try to say it. My girl told me. Yeah, right. My girl told me. But the thing is, the lady. Your phone told you. Listen. You listen to that shit. You listen to that shit. Your ears gave nigga. Yeah. You was over here like that. Then the girl. Then the girl. And then it ain't gonna hit. Pause because the girls are like, you're lying, nigga. I'm all right. 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 I'm in too good with the ladies right now. I'm the biggest fan right now. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 like, no, that battle rap shit, though, like, they, they go that deep, like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, they they something's coming. Shit. I'm somebody is so creative. Battle rap, we creative. Mm -hmm. Like, I already know. Like, if it was me, I'm going to say this so I can stop a nigga from saying it. If it was me, yeah. I'd make it where, like, oh my God, you. You traded on your loved one for fame, like like I did it on purpose. Like I sold my soul. Mm. Like oh, I love this girl. Let me sell her body. Like that's what they gonna try to make it seem like. Yeah, yeah. That shit. Hit it with the rabbit. Yeah, you know like saying? shut up. <laughs> that shit gave uh, yelling at another nigga for thirty minutes to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like it's too close. Like, I don't like hey, cussing. Hey, hey bro, that shit's so passionate. I know they make it. It's like boxing, yeah, but I'm yeah. like, but like, but like, he he kind of he kind of like us in the vein of you know what I'm saying. We was doing open mics, you know what I'm saying, for the free for a long time for a nigga started getting like yeah. paid to do mm -hmm. comedy. Yeah. Just talk about them days. Man. But the thing is, like, what's funny is when I started in 2009, I got on Smack in 2010. Oh, okay. So, or well, was it my end of 2009 when I got on Smack? So, like my first battle for Smack, I got $1,500. Shit. And that was oh, more so you like Eddie Murphy in that yeah, yeah. I got, he ain't like us. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 because back. right, I was like, that's what you started. Yeah, okay, <laughs> the thing, might be the thing is, well, you know what? I'm talking about Smack though. Okay, my apologies. Mm -hmm. My apologies. When I first was doing it, I was just battling yeah, yeah. Just, just to get the name, of course. So I was on the street corners and driveways and battling yeah. the rep. All oh, you battle for money, like it's a grand prize up whoever win get five hundred. So I did all of that. Mm -hmm. Then I got to the point where I was like, I start battling people with my own money. Like shit, I got three hundred. Bet bet three hundred. Oh, it's a bet four hundred. Yeah. I leave with eight hundred stuff like that. Then by the time I got to a league, um, Fight Club came to St. Louis. Mm -hmm. I was in college. Fight Club. I was in college. Um, Key wine, he from the um, Lunatics. Oh yeah, he the one, you know what I'm saying. The one say uh, on the Air Force One. So it was like, damn, when those come out, so I write the date on them. That's my boy. Shout out Key wine. So yeah. he called me like, yo, Fight Club coming to St. Louis. I need you to get there. Yeah. The winner get fifty thousand and a chance Ooh. to go to um, New York to battle on the, the main one. I was at school. I was at Mineral Area JUCO. Mm. I only don't average twenty six there. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah talk come, your on. Shit. come on, man. Twenty six point six. This nigga was at last yeah. chance. You? Yo, he was. Yeah. Nah, yo. What's up? Hey, Arthur Ag went there. Yes. Yeah. You can say. Well, he, he did go to Minerals. He went to Minerals. He went to Minerals. Yeah. yeah. It's Arthur like Burger Man with the M. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Arthur Ag. He went to Arkansas State. Yeah, he did on the Mineral Area. The one who daddy was. He was Jay. Started shooting drum. Uh huh. Finger on Cena. So you was at school. You was like, I gotta shoot. I was at school. So yeah. So my school was in Missouri. So it was only an hour away. So my uh, older teammates, like I ain't had no car back then. So my older teammates, cause what I was doing, I was walking around rapping. So they already knew that. That's and I had some little battle. They like, man, I said I gotta get to St. Louis, man. Fight Club come through, y'all need to come. The whole yeah. team. That's why if you go look at my Fight Club battle, when they show the crowd, you see six, eight, six, tall nine. Tall niggas behind you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> hilarious. <laughs> I'm on the basketball team. The old basketball team. So we That's get hard. there. And I um I battle a St. Louis legend off the flip because the name was so high. They like, man, we got the new up and coming hit, yeah. and he finna go crazy. And then we had to establish. They like, man, set it up early. What we waiting on? Whoever win, they gonna win it all. That's anyway. why they put it up. Wow. I, I, I went against a legend. His name D Mac, man. Mm -hmm. And I ended up winning, but he passed the torch. Shout out mm -hmm. to D Mac, St. Louis That's legend. Dope, battle man. I ended up beating him to get to the um 
final in a battle a guy named Remy. We went in uh, overtime right. and I beat him. Okay. So I'm like, what a fifty thousand? Like, yeah, this, nigga, how many times? Right. Got money. <laughs> yeah. So so the thing is, you had a chance. You had a chance to battle for the fifty thousand in New York. I couldn't make it. Mm-hmm. I was still in uh, season. Like they was going like now. I couldn't even. I couldn't make it. So. Uh, my guy, Young Ill, shout out to him from St. Louis, mm-hmm. very oh, dope, yeah. yeah, legend of battle rap. Him and uh, Remini, the guy, the guy, the guy I battled with. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So they up to did their thing. So I missed out on that. Went back to school. I was 26. Got a scholarship to California State Northridge, mm-hmm. D1. I right out of um, JUCO. My grades fl- um, slipped, so I had to go to summer school to get a to pass. What's the what's the one above algebra? <laughs> Keep. It's algebra the next one. I was like, I ain't want to sound crazy. College algebra, I want to trick out. I won't make it done. Was it two? Calculus. Was algebra two? Algebra two. That shit was. Yeah, shit that we don't need no more. College algebra. I'm talking. I hate it. So in middle area, I had um, I passed everything, but I needed a whatever I need. I needed that to go to California State. So I went to summer school. My I had a I had a. Older white lady as a teacher. Come she won't talk about 90. She's like 95. <laughs> like she was fine. Like 90, Come on. Look, but she was like, so she, like, she was like 90, right? <laughs> so I'm coming in like I, I'm doing the best I can, man. I'm I got I, I got a 69, bro. I got a 69. I need a 70. Did she bump you, bro? Shit. Oh. Came in, I asked her many times, said, yo, can you apply me? Like I do extra credits and that. She failed me with a 69. Well, I, I don't think I even failed. And so whatever happened where I needed uh, yeah, I needed that grade to get there. Yeah. So she God didn't dang. go. I, I saw I didn't go to California mm-hmm. State that year mm-hmm. for that. So I ended up going to a University of Missouri St. Louis D two, mm-hmm. which is a Great Lakes um, Valley Conference, top conference in D two. Mm-hmm. I was twenty five there. Okay. My junior mm-hmm. year, my first year, then I just dropped out of college. Yeah. He <laughs> said I just dropped out. I just dropped out. <laughs> so yeah, I, I I was there, bro. I hated like. I just hated school. I hated what they was teaching. Right. Like I just went. I just hated it, bro. Yeah. But I knew it was something about that because I got older. I watch. I watch Hidden Colors. I watched ten hours of that in a row. Yeah. Mm. They were teaching I, and the I'm wrong like, shit. oh, this why. Mm. I'm not. I wasn't. I wasn't really caring about Christopher Columbus. Yeah, I didn't want to care about that life right. at all. <laughs> yeah. You but they tell me what this melon doing me and all this and all this right. stuff and. Oh, so that's why that's, that's why they still keep it out of school to this day. To this day, to this day. This day. Critical race theory. My son yeah. keep walking out doing social studies. He yeah. in second grade. Yeah. yeah, he ain't fucking with it. He on the spectrum, but he just, he always get in trouble. But I'd be like, I get it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, it was like he yeah. walked out doing social studies. I was like, yeah. it's yeah. It's, it's Thanksgiving. Studies. This shit is fake. Yeah. So that's why <laughs> I'm real. Some or man, something. I used to. My mom and dad used like they was. I used to get whoopings a lot, but I used to get in trouble in school. But I knew. I'm like, man, I ain't whooping my son over that. Mm-hmm. He gonna have to do something this way. When the teacher say he doing, man, I don't believe it. Cause I knew they was exaggerating with me. Yeah, right. I stayed up one time. Oh, they been up since <laughs> since ten o'clock. Like, <laughs> man, like so I just look at that, bro. So, man, but so I dropped out. Then I just said, man, let me see what this four time battle rap about. Yeah. Damn. What was the struggle years before you got a nice little lick, or was it like you got a good battle, then you got to wait to the next battle? Yeah, the first. Yeah, the first. When I was, cause I never had a job, like mm. ever. So, <laughs> like, so, yeah. Yeah, so, like, right. so how I was getting money was, like, I ain't had to pay me no bills. I was um, living with my mama, of course. Like high school, I ain't had to, you know, what I'm saying, do that. Then when I got went to college, I was living off college. And right. What's the per, per diems and the grants yeah, and they, shit yeah. like that? Like, long, that look, baby. that look, that look two thousand last yeah. me about. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of noodles. And I Ooh, shoot, that, and I shoot nice. Long. Oh, I yeah. shoot dice. Oh, okay. You know, I shot di- yeah, so I shot the dice doing this stuff like that. So when uh it was time when I started living with my baby mama, like we were my baby mama, I had a son at 17. So I've been my ba- I was with my baby mama from like 17, like 27 or whatever the age was. Oh, but wow. I was living with her. We had our own stuff. Mm-hmm. She had a uh, she worked at the post office. She was a mail carrier, so she was good doing job. good. Sure. Yeah, she was oh, doing good. So I was able she was able to Jeez. hold down the bills yeah. on the mortgage and stuff. And I was able to hold down like the lifestyle like we can go eat wherever we want. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I can buy you stuff. I can just live this life. Yeah. You take that because that's come that's consistent. Mm. I might not battle I might not battle like you said January. They might not book me to September. So I got Five thousand here, and then yeah, nothing yeah, right man. there. Yeah. Losing dice, now I'm down. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah. That game's ugly. So, so um, shout out to my son, mama, bro. Like, so, so on the rise. That was a big. 
that that allowed me to really focus on that mm. because I wasn't so I wasn't really worried about being out broke like this bro like nowhere to live nah, while I'm chasing facts. my dream yeah. you know what I'm saying I never I, I never really got to that point because I always was a big name because even my first battle was 1500 I did so good my next one was 35 did mm -hmm. so good my next one was five did so good eight like I only went up that was back then you know what, yeah. I'm saying? what it sounded like you was doing what? getting every dollar that's yeah, okay. like, come on, that's what it sound like you were doing every, every dollar, doller. Yeah, yeah, so, right. yeah. Yeah. So, so like so but the struggle years like i said though was bad like i couldn't really like, i was doing enough to still be cool but i was so i was getting so famous i couldn't even go get so like, i had to make it i couldn't get a job no yeah, like yeah, you nigga, couldn't nah. see me at foot locker <laughs> so that was the biggest that's the thing i hated the most because my fame was passing up my lifestyle. I mean, mm. my money wasn't catching up with my fame. Nah, so facts. I got two million Ooh. views on YouTube, but I don't have, I only got $5,000 for that battle. Yeah. Mm. See what I'm saying? Yeah, so now yeah. I'm walking around and everybody just think I'm up, up, and I can't be in full locker. That's going to take away from that. Mm. So I just had to hang in there, man. So what, what, what started happening was, man, I just started, for some reason, the world gravitated to my battles. I started doing breaking. Do a million views in two days. Crazy, no, cause you bro. about to whoop people's ass. That's why <laughs> that we, we, we like when you. Yeah, was, I like, like a nigga you know who rap, but will whoop your ass. I'm That's right. about it. A lot <laughs> of them you don't be believing. You, you like he talking? I, right. I, I hear the sentences. Right. Mm -hmm. Most of them. Your brother ain't behind you with a St. Louis jersey on matching. That's that what I did. I'm from St. Louis. This nigga brother had to be ready. Familiar with St. Louis because boy because because the reason why people was kind of sleep on St. Louis because. Nelly made good music. Like right. it yeah. wasn't. Happy. It's a difference. People yeah. know about Chicago yeah. and how dangerous it is because they got dirt. Mm -hmm. Chief Key. But if you had to really listen to Nelly, because he was like, nah, no, but treated, like, the, street the street girls loved him so much. Right. He was like a pretty boy. You had to really listen to him. Like, so yeah. all you really heard was E I. Uh oh. We yeah. knew. Right. We knew what niggas said. Street sweeper, baby. Yeah. <laughs> ready, right. ready, go, <laughs> goddamn. It took five years to really realize what he was saying. <laughs> oh, we knew the first day. Like, right. like, hey, no, 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 but we knew, but when you first just listen oh, to a glance by, you kind of hear good stuff. And, you know, I like you how you do that. Everybody third, Ching, and Chips yeah. and Jaquan. Like, all our music just was good music. Yeah, it felt good. We didn't have nobody who showed that side of St. Louis, so you just never knew unless you were street niggas and everybody who knows the street niggas oh, I know other street niggas like, yo, St. Louis, get down. Mm -hmm. So what happened was, um, like, like I said, with Chicago, you got all them young hitters who talking about they hoods yeah. and you you gravitate to their life like damn four of your homies got shot damn they just killed six like you see it and then you start Chicago bad like you know Chicago is bad for sure yeah. but like I said St Louis been number one number two in the murder top for a long time homicides the last fifty years Man, yeah. you know what I'm saying so I was raised up on that like not saying I was the toughest I was just gonna kill everybody but I knew I wasn't playing with nobody. Nice. You play with me, we gotta, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta yeah. have to whoop me. When I learned in ninth grade, I wasn't scared to take a loss. Mm. Oh, niggas gotta show me. <laughs> it takes a little show bit. Me, niggas bro. Niggas niggas scared to fight because they don't want to lose. Right. I was like that for a long time. Like, man, I, I don't want to lose. Yeah. But man, when I lost before, yeah. and then niggas it? was like, well, he got busy. I'm like, oh, I'm mm. cool with that. Like, yeah, right. cause they, oh, they know. Oh, nah, he lost. Side. Yeah, no, nah, but he lost, but shit, it, he worked for it. Like, yeah. all I know, oh, you gonna work for it. Yep. I got to lose 10 in the world, they gonna work for it. Yep. Cause all this, it's all about, like, you just whoop me, but you work for it. You ain't gonna really wanna fight yeah. again. You right. work for it, like, right. I ain't gonna tell you what. He gonna hit back, he gonna fight back. If I was a teenager right now, I'd do everything in my power not to fight a nigga. Cause if you lose on, on camera, you know, yeah, that's the thing. There's another word for it, boy. That's why this generation. So, different because our whew. generation we really ain't laugh at losses like that. Nah, like yeah, you I come know. in like nigga, that's you get stripes. That's how you get stripes. Yeah, it's all about oh, but these, that's just four fight this week though. Yeah, so, right. so you say so. Yeah, yeah, like, like you, you gonna gonna fight. Fight. My boy yeah. fresh off ISS. Yeah. He, he out here. <laughs> so now, got so now I hit you, drop you. That's on World Star. You so embarrassed, you finna shoot me when you shoot me. That's, that's, that's the crazy part. Ooh, fuck you. You gotta shoot everybody that last. Yeah, that's the bring back ooh, fair ones. Sure. God damn, and bro. They won't, bro. They won't bring that back, bro. That's why I try to avoid everything. I just stay out of people's business. I don't act tough, bro. Leave me alone. Because I know I'm in a lose-lose. Because mm -hmm. I know you say something too crazy, and I and I snap out, right. I'm gonna hit you. Right. So, you, so now you, when I hit you, you're gonna do whatever you do back. If I get the best of you, you done lost to a 
wild and out nigga a rap a battle rap nigga mm -hmm. now i gotta worry about you trying to take it there so now i got mm -hmm. all this to lose you really don't mm -hmm. I'm, I'm losing cancun life tulum trips and mm -hmm. right and this and i'm yeah. i get a hundred thousand stuff on so i'm losing all this mm -hmm. to cover your your uh ego like i'm on, cool man. on it ain't worth it because if i beef if i beef with you if i beef with another rapper say lil dirk my homie say if i beef with lil dirk mm -hmm. nine times out of ten i'm not gonna really see lil dirk I'm not gonna be like, look, Brian see, it's gonna right. be his yeah. homie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or his connects, you know, in another city. Oh, right. that man got a show. So it ain't even worth it. Cause I don't even got a problem with you. I got a problem with you. Yeah. But if y'all cool, it's like, yo, if you see that nigga, now we, I don't, it's just. I, don't, I was about to say, use another rapper name. Use <laughs> not, not him. Not him, my boy. That's my boy. Woo, but them yeah. niggas yeah. deep, yeah. man. Do, do, do you feel like people kind of. Do you feel like people, kinda, you know, cause I know you do cool ass nigga, good dude. Do you t feel like people approach you as the person you are when you're battle rapping? Cause like people look at certain people like they'll look at Kobe like he an asshole, but the only yeah. time you got to see him was the two hours he yeah, was competing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, that's exactly what it do because a lot of people feel they got to show they tougher than me, out tough me because my little brother didn't knock somebody out or I didn't hit somebody on stage, but they don't. They skip the fact that I got disrespected. Mm. Like I tell people, they always say Hitman so tough, but you can't punch up a time me being tough. I only react. Mm. I go up there to rap. I don't bump people. I don't put yeah. my hand in your face. I don't do nothing. And all I ask is y'all gonna do that for, yeah. to me for sure. You don't even cross the stage. I don't do nothing. I stand yeah. right here, bro. Let you do you. Mm -hmm. So I'll be damned if you're not gonna let do that to me. You know what I'm saying? Right, so right. so now when it gets to that and I react, it's like, oh, hit man tripping. But the whole time I've never had a battle. I done battled 36 times professionally. Mm -hmm. None of my battles stopped for fighting or none of that. Mm -hmm. You might argue that, but there's a lot of niggas who be punching and can't even they take words. It, yeah. A nigga that told me. I talk about my mama cancer, talk about my son, talk about everything. I sat there like, all right. Stood in that shit. That's and they, 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 they called me emotional. Mm -hmm. On stage, I told them, on stage, just 20 minutes, you got whatever to say, you can say whatever. Now, what you choose to say, I ain't going to punch you on stage or nothing, but what you choose to say dictates how I treat you afterwards. Yeah, I heard right. it. Right. I heard <laughs> it. If I, heard heard it. I, I know you my man, or not even my man, but we battling. And I choose to say, man, your dead sister just move move for some ooze. Like I I'm gonna let that slide because you can say whatever now, but after the battle, well, we, I'm gonna shake your hand for you. We different. Right. We yeah. homies are different, nigga. Yeah. No, I don't know no promoters, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a nigga. A nigga say everything. Your dead granny, no, no, no. They think, what's up, hey, man, chop it up like oh, When man. was the first time you so seen them shenanigans? Because I watched one, and they had all kind of paperwork on Cliff's With me? parents. And yeah, when niggas had, it was, was you and... Yeah, when the when first time you saw the craziness, saw. like, up here. Like, you see, like, maybe you're talking about, like, battle rap kind of changes. Well, and yeah, I saw like one, and they had the Charlie Clips paperwork or some shit. And so it was, what happened is, yeah, you know, Charlie Clips well, never met his father. Yeah, never mm -hmm. met his father. But, you know, when battle rap found out your daddy was a snitch, oh, that's uh, you. We finna attack you. Right. So he brought paperwork out of his father. But he got it blowed up at Kinko's? Yeah, bro. That's some petty ass shit, bro. He blowed up all, well, he made copies. Yeah. Yeah, Niggas still went somewhere to get me. He copies me. Yeah, like, like he brought one big one. He brought, like, pass and check this out. Niggas been 78 dollars to get copies. Like, you know, that about, it's like the written rule. It's like, they gonna dig in your past. Like, they gonna, like, like somebody came home from jail, and then somebody figured out that they really snitched, and he brought, Paperwork on him. Yeah, big cat. And, and, yeah, and pass yeah. the paperwork out on him. It's like right. me saying, yo, hey, this Tyler, we did. And it's like, yeah, Tyler and told on Sam Reed. Like, you were like, shit. Yeah, so they did that. No. But somebody brought somebody up. Grandma bitch you with him and ripped yeah. it up in front of him. Like, it'd be a lot of wild shit. Yeah. What the fuck? Is but that'd be like the lower right. level. Yeah. That's the motherfucker that's trying to, like, probably get views, really. Exactly. Right. Right. You ain't gonna see nobody on I Like, I got, I make, listen, I make over. I made my last battle. I done accumulated over my last two battles. I done probably made close to. Just say a lot. <laughs> just <laughs> just say a lot. A lot. Bro. 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 Told me one. But uh, you know what? Can you get into not to how much how much money is, but like the business of it? Because you told me like now when you battle, how it's different. You know what I'm saying? The negotiation goes different. Oh, yeah. So less people. Yeah, know so, yeah. I mean, like you know, back then we weren't really caring. Like I was, we was broke. We was trying to make it. So smack and was just giving us anything. Mm -hmm. Like. I, my, I was the first rapper from St. Louis to sell out the biggest battle rap event in New York in 2010, 2011, mm. whatever, whatever, 2011, me versus Hollow. Mm. The biggest battle rap event to that day was mm. headlined by a St. Louis nigga versus New York nigga. That's hard. I got $5,000 today. That place hold 3000 mm. Wait a minute. Will y'all ever cut in on the revenue from the streams? Because I know somebody now, knew about the money way before y'all. That's what I'm going to get to now. I'm going to get to that now. The thing is, you just got to walk it like you talking. Like, you just can't come in. I want the stream. You gotta be able to show and prove why or what you do. Like me, I'm coming in like, look, 
Okay, this say my guy Charlie Cliffs and Arsenal. They got a hundred million views. They the only two rappers, battle rappers that have a hundred million views on battle rap. That's crazy. One of them got seventy some battles. The other one got like a hundred ninety some battles. Right. Mm. I got eighty million views. I got thirty six battles. Come on, man. So I'm going in like, yo, you see this? Mm -hmm. You see this? Hype it up. Look at this. Mm -hmm. This what I bring to the table. Or yo, give me a shot. I take less money right here. Let's do the stream one time. Let me show you. Oh, this how much we brought in. This one and this. Oh, the door. This I mean, like I'm showing you. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm show you. I'm on BET in real life. Mm -hmm. I'm on MTV in real life. Real life. I, mean, I make this money from money. trucks and all this stuff in real life. So if you, why well, I'm gonna take ten thousand from you and I get that for nah. You finna me? It's like I don't care how much, I don't care how small this room is. If I try to get Floyd Mayweather here, I gotta pay him what he oh, like. I can't say, man, there's two people here. Then, nah, uh, I need and this. And they doing pay per view now for the job. That's what I'm saying. So, mm -hmm. pay per view for five thousand. I mean, fifty dollars. You sell three thousand streams. Mm -hmm. That's just minimal. Shit. Yeah. Just say three thousand bucks. Yeah, that's easy. That's off the rip. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Me and Cassidy did. Bro, that shit, it. boy, you Tardo, talk about that, yeah, you motherfucking boy. Yeah, bro. Like I said, bro, like a lot of people, I call, I call that a nigga lot shirt of, collar got loose a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, bro, <laughs> bro I, I call a lot of backlash from that. And like I said, when you review and look at the tapes, he switched topics. And I feel when you switch topics on me about, if we talking about battle rap, you take it somewhere else. Talking about the face off or yeah, the, the face off. Oh, the bag. Yeah, we talk face off. So I'm gonna tell everybody. I don't even know they understand that. So the face off, like I said, we talking about rap, whatever you know. He started talking about fighting and all that. So he, I want to stay on that topic. They mad at me because he brought it up, and I want to stay on it now. Yeah, don't, yeah. Don't make me switch because he switched. <laughs> right. Yeah. He brought that up. Oh, now we gonna talk about, talk about it. Boxing. I ain't done talking about. It. Yeah. So they want. So yeah. So he brought it up. I got on him. He wanted to switch, you know, I'm still on the top and I like, oh, you a bull, now you doing too much. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So in meanwhile, I take threats in battles. I get paid to let you tell me you're gonna kill me in battles. Mm -hmm. And a face off, this ain't really a battle, it's kind of more like real life. You got <laughs> you got eight, ten niggas here. How about myself? So if I hear you tell me, oh, yeah, 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 one of my niggas here gonna do something to you. Yeah, different. I gotta take that a little serious. That right. was up in court. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It does Are you gonna do up? what? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Look at my bad sisters right here, all right? <laughs> Don't threaten me like that no more. I yeah. got to make it home. Come on. You know what I'm saying? So, well, you safe here, because you, you can take out your purse if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to do shit to you. I ain't, ain't going to do shit to you. <laughs> 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 if I want to get away, I'm, get, I'm shot in the way. I'm the squid game nigga. Say? <laughs> if I want to get away, I'm done. Okay. I'm going to take one volume. <laughs> <laughs> nigga gonna hit me first. Don't you do real like over with. That nigga hit me like this. Hey, my man. They gonna reload seven times. <laughs> right. oh, Get out of here, Tyler. Hey, go down and give me another kick. He's gonna be right there. He's gonna be right there. Give me another kick. Nigga, run down and pull another kick. I got it. I blocked everybody. Oh, man. So, so yeah, so they. they uh, <laughs> exactly. I get it. I blocked So, yeah, so they, they threaten you in real life. So it's like. Yeah, they, I mean, like, in a, in, a, or in a more of a real life setting. Yeah. Right. Like I said, we still got paid here to talk shit, understand that. That's why I didn't take that threat as serious as I could have off camera. Mm. I took it as serious enough for me to get my camera, I mean, get my bag, but I ain't pull a gun out or mm. I just put it right here like, are oh, you talking too crazy? Calm down. I'm not one of them. Right. You know what I'm saying? He used to talk he little to too. crazy. Like, <laughs> like, well, like, I know size don't matter, pause, but I'm a, I'm a problem, man. Like, I, ain't <laughs> like, and then I, like, I asked people, like, bro. I don't act like I'm gonna tell them, but you say something, I feel like, let's go catch a fade in. Well, like I told him, before I got the bag, anything, oh, uh, I'm that much of a bitch and you a bee and all this stuff, I mean, you're gonna walk right here. It ain't even out. have to get to that bag. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking at the time. Like, bro, come on. Well, you know what I'm saying? But selling tickets, man. Yeah, that was yeah, a great yeah, sell. Sell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But oh, when yeah. the battle came, you did yeah. hit your yeah. ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Crumbled him up again, <laughs> bro. It's like we was giving this nigga a chance after right. chance. It's like, he getting better. He getting yeah. better. And yeah. had Nick Cannon email because they don't got no phone number. Yeah. Now Nick Cannon. Come on. <laughs> I got, got him to the show. And, and let me tell you how much people were crazy. That shit was People like, oh my God, he trying to bring Nick Cannon. Who cares? Like the whole time up to the battle, Cassidy got an interview and said, man, Nick Cannon don't even rock with you in real life. Nick saw that. Yeah, he like, man, he don't rock with you. Like you, are, you work for him. He don't come to none of your battles, this and that. I bring him to the battle. Like the hardest shit ever. Bring a man who's a mogul. Fuck you, man. During COVID. 
Come on, yes. nigga. Like, this game off. This April's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like this April. Like in a in a pandemic, I brought a mogul on stage and people was like, ah, oh, wow, wow, who cares? Why you do that? Like, nah, nigga, shit. Yeah, first of all, I couldn't afford why. this nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this nigga, this time. Nick, pulled up real Nick, nigga Nick, man, Nick was, um, shout out to Nick. Sorry for your yeah, loss and yeah, all that. Yeah, while yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. Nick. Condolences, bro. He was, um, he was excited. That was his first one. He like, bro. He was kid like man, you know the action it was sold yeah. out. Man, was and, and, and he was behind me the whole time. Like, he was like, and they was no. So mm -hmm. he came out with the man. Oh, they went crazy. So shout mm -hmm. out to Nick for that. What yeah, was the call from Nick? How did you go from battle rap to wilding out? Like, so like I said, you know, I was battling. I was doing a lot of views. Like my battles were, for some reason people was really like liking hit man out of battles. I was doing millions of views like that. You know what I'm saying? So you know he was already a big battle rap fan. So he got, I'm glad y'all said it. I'm going to talk about Casita. Mm. Casita been tweeting now. Yeah, yeah. He been tweeting now. I got some on kind. I told him I'm going to tell So, so, um. Exclusion. So but you can't have all the sneakers if you wear a side four, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Give a fuck. I mean, all the sneakers, Give a fuck bro. about that uh, shit. They got, got all your sizes. Yeah, 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 he got every so, like, so, desktop. So he got Khan on her the year before. Mm -hmm. I mean, the season before. So he already writes battle rap. So Khan, a different type of battle rap. If you know battle rap, mm -hmm. a different different type of battle rap than me. Mm -hmm. So he's like, man, Khan. He hit me like, yo, I think you would be dope on the show the way you perform. You know what I'm saying? The girls like you too. Like you bring that street hood to the wild wild and out. I want yeah. you to be exactly that. Come audition. Mm -hmm. I remember like it was yesterday, bro. I ain't had the money for the flight because mm -hmm. it was Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. um, that Thanksgiving was Thursday, so it was Thanksgiving weekend, whatever. The flight was like Lamb Hunted. Now I had mm -hmm. my own room in New York. New York. Another Lamb Hunted. Yeah, so I'm like, that's three. I don't have three just to give away to not, right. not for it to be guaranteed. Right. right. Not an eating day. It's eating week. And also, I call my uh, a close friend of mine, Jeremy Mack. Oh, play yeah, for, play for the Eagles. 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 Yeah, Come, big, on, man. Yeah, yeah, Missouri. Come on, yeah, man. Come on, man. So, yeah. so I said, John, I said, J Mack, man, I just got a um, DM from Nick. He said, man, I got a, I got an audition, but I got to get my own stuff up there and pay for the room. I said, bro, I ain't, I ain't got 3000 just to give away right yeah. now. Then Christmas coming, I ain't got it just to, I ain't, I ain't guaranteed. I might go up there on some bullshit. I said, he said, bro, just promise me you get it. Mm. So I got you. He sent it. He paid for the room, come boom, on. and he gave me like five hundred in my pocket. Come on. Like, Let's go, come on. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. come on. Yeah, yeah. Shout out yeah. to the football players yeah, that'll so. slide you something. Yeah, come so on. yeah. <laughs> so he said, "I sent me up there. Um, I, I, I did good. I." I thought I did good, but looking back at the footage, I did terrible. Everybody's mm. audition is horrible. Terrible, yeah, terrible. but it was good. Yeah, <laughs> but, so good yeah, but terrible. <laughs> she was terrible. trash. Terrible. So Nick, so Nick knew. Um, that shit's funny. But Nick knew the potential, so he was looking for something different. So got the part, made the wild now, twenty fourteen, and um, rest was history. On that. So the thing is, a lot of people are like. Man, you need to thank Khan for putting you on. Cause mm -hmm. Khan looked out of all that. Khan was pissed. <laughs> you trying to be the only nigga. Nick Cannon told Khan, I think I'm going to sign him, man. Mm -hmm. Khan hit him with the, I mean, I honestly, I see, but I mean, you know, it's it, just one battle rapper on the show. We don't need <laughs> But I ain't gonna lie. That's I ain't gonna lie. That's hilarious. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Me and him did the same thing when he brought clips yeah. on. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, Are you clogging up the system, 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 son? Like, what, I'm like, what are we doing here? I'm like, I'm like, yeah, but okay, we got kind of a punchline. Mm -hmm. I'm a street <laughs> aggressive one. It's so what clips called. Clips don't really. The thing they have clips is clips is really more He's like funny. natural, funnier yeah, than. Like, funny I want to do my shit. battles. I don't tell jokes. Kind did in his punchline way, but Cliff's yeah. kind of fit, so we like, yeah, yeah. So a lot of niggas be like, yeah, you got Cliff's put on. I'm like, yeah, I got to put on. And I did not want them there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's so funny because these niggas have that competitive shit they like do. all yeah, the dude. time, like, like, like literal like, athletes. I'm like, nah, like, I'm yeah, like, that's, that's the nature of the game. Yeah, they don't yeah, give you bring somebody else that think like me, so it's a chance. I might get caught slipping and get kicked off because. You got, you know what I'm saying? You might oh, not yeah. need me. No well, that was weird seeing that. that was behind the scenes, like that one little time I was on that ride, to see all y'all niggas in war mode was like, ooh, yeah. these niggas. Oh, man. Like, like, when the cameras off. They got more to lose than the comedians, though. You know, comedians. Yeah, everybody trying, trying to take their head off every yeah, time. Yeah, so look, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a double down. Like, say you fuck around and get fucked up in a, in a wild style on Wild and Out, a yeah. nigga's definitely going to say something about in that. In real life. Oh, yeah, so on the They try to pull that with me. My first. 2014 and 2018, it was like, hey, man, you ain't funny on there, bro. Every time you walk up, eh, like, 
had to deal with all that because they would they instead of laughing or trying to make it seem like I want funny for the show, <clears throat> I don't think people take into the consideration of how I adapted and made it happen. I wasn't a comedian. I wasn't trying to be extra funny, mm -hmm. but for me to not know that and still survive 12 seasons, oh, I made man, it happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, for I sure. made it happen. It's brand that, that can't last at all. At all. Exactly. Yeah. At all. So I found my courage and found my, and I made it work. So that's yeah. more harder than laughing at me not being funny as DC and Tyler and these motherfuckers <laughs> who's funny. Like, but losing yeah. good is funny on there. Like, yeah, if you I lose well, if you yeah, lose well, it works. Always on so I found he my courage. He may be losing good. That's yeah, true. Yeah, exactly. He do that good. I found my courage. Like, okay, I, I can't be DC. I can't come out here and slide on my head. And I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't do that. Yeah, I'm sure I can't be. She <laughs> going to commit. I can't be that. So what can you do? Okay, you know what I'm saying? You got street credit, credibility. Be on that, be that hood guy that can be funny at the ladies love. Mm -hmm. That's what I turned into. So I'm, all I'm doing is flirting all day. Who the girl? So who the guest on the show? Her? Well, I know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that again. No, what I'm still, doing. That's still funny. did the wild style. And mm -hmm. still, Nick, still yeah. like do your wild style. Don't try to be. Yeah. Kind of be. I want to see the forties and all that. The forties yeah. look. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that, hey, bro. Ain't nothing worse than like you know because we got a break in between each each game. Yeah. Ain't nothing worse than seeing him walking work. around doing this shit. You like damn? Is that for me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Who is this? Who is this murder? I like like for me. Nah, 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 you could. Yeah. 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 <laughs> If you listen to him too. Because he'll get, he'll fuck around. He feel like he'll get everybody. He'll just grab yeah, you by your shirt, grab, hit you, yeah, and move yeah, you yeah, out the way it is. Oh, yeah, y'all yeah, seen that. Hold on, nigga. No, you going to say something about me. I need to say oh, something back. Hey, y'all be getting it. I'm from the streets too, nigga. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Hey, who do you feel like big man? Y'all be. Who do you feel like your biggest competition is? Like, is it Justina? Is it like. I like my, probably my rival. Like, my watch Nemesis. Oh. Because <laughs> you're really just in that kind of Hey, yo. You know I'm laughing. What? <laughs> Santorin. <laughs> Sans Juan and Zoe, bro. Hey, Sans Juan. Hey, yo. Come on. Listen, I mean, nigga, you you're are gunning for you're that, You're such, nigga. like, talking about losing well, and I ain't trying to even equate sport, that, but it's just like, a lot of motherfuckers wouldn't be able to go into this yeah. mode, especially what he does for a living at the battle So, for the thing right. is, like, they, they actually came to me backstage MTV and the higher ups, because they know my character and they know who I am. So, they was like, do you, like, because they, they not scared of me, but they kind of know, like, oh my God, like, yeah, we don't mess with a brand. Yeah, like, he be fighting it, so they like, he be fighting it, yeah, he be fighting it. Ah, he be fighting it. Yeah, he be fighting it. Yeah, he be fighting it. Yeah, he be fighting it. The exact thing, the nigga check. Yeah. Hey, yeah, nigga, you all that. You gotta understand, you know, you know, a lot of the times, the stuff that happened to me in my life, like, the child know, I was on Wild and Out. When I hit Buddy, in, you know what I'm saying, balls in the barbershop, and when I had the fight on state, and all that stuff, I was yeah. still on Wild and Out. So the stuff was breaking, hitting news and all that stuff. And he got MTV, yeah. yeah. So, but you know what I'm saying? They they understand my background. I understand because there I had I only had problems with rap. Battle rap and rap is where the beef and all that dumb shit comes from. Mm -hmm. When it comes to BET, no problems. MTV, no problem. Never, you never heard him, 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 man, fight MTV, Kurt. No, it only comes with that dumb ass shit, rap, man. So they knew that because they knew I was, you know, what I'm saying they sweetheart, they love me. So they was like, we just want to step on your toes and number like. Like with San Twine, like when I remember Zoe first did it. Mm -hmm. That was real reaction. Like was real. Just, I just knew, because I know I'm, I'm comfortable with myself. I don't have to be like, oh, don't say that to me. Right. I knew I have to do that. But I knew I had to let it be you know, like you wild. Yeah, <laughs> like it's wild. 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 I knew I had to do that. So I'm like, I just thought fast, like, I am gone. Yeah, yeah. So that was real reaction. <laughs> and it kind of hit. So they was like, the people love it. Like, He's gonna always throw shots at you, or do you mind? So I'm like, yeah, I'm cool. Like, I ain't like he got it. Like, we good. Like, I ain't trouble off that. Like, I'm a man. Like, I'm good with my stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's help the show. I ain't worried about what nobody else is saying. They know I'm solid, this and that. Yeah. I'm cool. So that's why all oh, they always, they comfortable enough to do the little shots. And I walk up and send Twine and act like I'm Janet Jackson. <laughs> Hilarious. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, hey, say, say, <laughs> walk off. Hey, that nigga be walking <laughs> off the whole I set. Like, be, wild, bro. Right, that nigga go back to craft. Then they go back to the hotel. <laughs> like, this is too much, bro. Wild, 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 wild. Boy, after this new tape, yeah. we gonna hit you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go back to St. Louis, like, man, fuck. Oh, that God, nigga God, like, yeah. um. Yeah, bro. You gonna move off that. Nigga, so, that's so funny. I didn't even think of time. That's funny, because somebody had walked up, like, Somebody from that community was like, hey man, my favorite, my favorite um, Rodin' Out moments is the Zoe and the San Juan. I'm like, 
Oh, yeah, hey, listen, a whole new set of fan base, a whole new people. Nah, yeah, come on, man. Like, you cool, and everybody be like, you cool. Like, you don't yeah. need extra. Nah, 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 nah. You know what, though? The nigga that be tripping be gay a little bit. Yeah. That's the, I, I was going to, I, 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 I was like, so ugh, like, like, yo. Yeah. He's so mad at that. Yeah, right, nigga like, was like, I couldn't believe. I was like, yeah. <laughs> the way you saying it is a lot of S's. <laughs> hey, friend. <laughs> Why you so mad? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody, somebody actually approached me like that. Man, you be letting them niggas do all that. <laughs> Hold on, man. He was looking you up and down like that. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Nigga, you see that? Also, 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 come on, man. I, nigga, I've been watching you since this and everything. You like, man, you on TV, like, selling your soul. Like, he ain't say selling your soul. Oh, like, you on TV, like, letting them play with you. I said, bro, one of them, like, they touch me something. Like, what happened? Yeah. Right. Bro, they be flirting with you. I'm like, bro, I can't stop somebody from saying what they say. Yeah, right. I'm flirting back. Right, there nigga. you go. You say, hey, nigga, you That's flirting with me. Yeah, <laughs> Right now. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, I can't stop it. Yo, I got your basketball card. Like, <laughs> I don't need any damn like, right. people I get from the night. Nigga, you know how much my cologne costs? <laughs> yeah, fucking amazing. Yo, I got your Juco jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Juco jersey, my name. <laughs> I got the hit, man. Juco jersey. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, man. Oh, man, shit. What the, what the games people play, how did that even come about? Mm. Man, crazy Talk story, about bro. That. Crazy story, so. No, I, I recently moved to Atlanta, so I've been in Atlanta uh, going on three years. So yeah. I just happened to get a phone call. Deion Sanders. Prime. 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 That's, that's, the, good. that's the go right there. That's the go, bro. When I tell you how this happened, I ain't never told the story neither. So mm. um, I guess they was already filming. They filmed in L.A., but COVID was so crazy they couldn't film out there, so they had to move it to Atlanta. Just act like it was L.A. So I guess the person they had for my character, Romello, um, backed out or couldn't do it. So they had a week to find the character. So um, his lady, Miss Tracy, which is an executive producer, called Dion like, I'm, I'm stressing. I need somebody to play basketball. I need somebody that the ladies love. I need somebody with a street mentality, a arrogant, a Floyd Mayweather type. Like, name yeah, name, hit me out. Man, so, so, so Dion was like, oh, that's easy. Nephew. Called me, said, I'm calling right back. She called, told her, type him and holler up on YouTube and watch all, everything that pop up, and I'm gonna call him. Called me, said, yeah, I uh, got a big time opportunity for you, man. They backed out. They need a player to be Romello. They need somebody that's, that's cocky, arrogant, that really play basketball. Cause they really wanted somebody. Cause they ain't want to see the ugly scene. I hate shoot, bro, then you, the shit. The camera go off and go off <laughs> and then, Or then you see somebody uh, dribbling like. Right. Or they can't throw a football. I was going to ask who was the first person. That they they had like was it like Tay Diggs or something? A role like that, yeah. probably. You know, well, like, you know what I'm saying? That he like was oh, it like was we had Tay Diggs, but it was like yeah. yo, he backed out. Oh. So listen, hit man, you gotta <laughs> yeah. Tay Diggs spirit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but you're better. You're yeah. so much better. You're so, athletic. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> you're better. you play AAU. So he so he was like, yo, you need somebody this and that, and I think you'll be the perfect person. And you're in Atlanta, right? Because they ain't really had time to do nothing extra though. Mm -hmm. Bring yeah, bring here, book your hotel for right. four thousand. Right they really want to. See what I got paid every episode, what well, they won't be there. And I, cause it was only a week. I had to get to the um, rehearsal Sorry. studies and yeah, yeah. all that stuff. So they like, I'm in Atlanta too. So she called him back like, oh my God, he is perfect. <laughs> so she got on the phone with me like, yeah, I love you, I love you. So my first day, they only signed me for it. I only had three episodes. Mm -hmm. I was only supposed to do three episodes. I killed them so bad, they rolled me in the next seven. So I was on every sure. episode. Yes, up, my, not my first character getting introduced to second. So I was on the second episode to mm -hmm. 10th. Cause I was just Sheesh. adding me on because yeah. I was doing so good. good and, bro. And that, so I'm one of the top characters on like get tweeted and now. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, hey man, come on. Talk right? about yeah, elevation. People, people don't even know that. Like they just see you at the at the end point. I don't even know. So, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then the so, thing why like I never had acting classes. I never mm -hmm. did nothing. But what really helped me is while well, now help, of course, right. improv, improv and sing on the spot, this and that, and battle rap the way I battle rap. I'm a performer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I know, you know what I'm saying? To me, memorizing lines really, you know, I, mm -hmm. I got to memorize 25 minutes worth of material That's every great. time I step on stage. Yeah. So I'm looking at these lines, and, they, and then they want really a streak. They're like, yeah, as long as you grab the conversation, yeah, just, so I'm just reading the conversation, like, boom, boom, boom. And that's what I, boom, boom. I'm on stable. They like, wow. This nigga battle You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they like, oh, <laughs> you know, how do you remember? I like, saw so all that stuff working in my favor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, was ready, but let me ask you this. Uh, as a writer, when you get some, when you get a new character and you're like, this character can be so much bigger than it is right now, mm. is that, does that give you more creativity? Well, that was my, sec you know well, that was my second character. My first book, I had my own movie called The First Pick. It was about a, it was about a um, college star. 
from St. Louis in the hood, mixing in both life. So I was on my way to the league, but I got mixed up with this girl who ended up got sent by the agent mm. to come trap me. Thinking like that, she do me wrong. I get into some beef about him and the other guy. Some dude come shoot me, I go paralyzed. I never, I, I messed up my whole, it's crazy, I messed up my whole thing. <laughs> but so that character still kind of hit me. I'm from, right. you know what I'm saying? So this, this character, Romello, I don't walk around asking. People understand I'm kind of quiet. I don't be cocky unless I'm in front of the camera. I need to. Mm -hmm. So I'm still acting like me, but it was good to be cocky every time. So I had to really make that, that I get soft spot. So it was really still kind of me. So I ain't really had a courage yet where I had to really be like, no, I can change him into, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like they will, you know, so, but I know I can do that because I'm reading the current. Like Romello, I brought Romello out. Like they, they was like, I didn't even, Look, think when Melo's gonna be that. Like, you is. Yeah, that's when you cook. That's when yeah. you cooking with grease. Yeah, the <laughs> motherfucker that wrote it is like, well, Because yeah, everybody see me, and I didn't realize that people didn't. Oh my God, you can act. So in my head, I'm like, clearly, but I'm like, oh, you know, I've never shown that. You're right. Like, yeah. you should be surprised. Like, duh, yeah, I never acted. You're right. Hey, so, bro, you know what I'm saying? This is a crazy story, side story on. Um, when you acting yeah, real good and you cooking with grease, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. Acting real good. And they say, I mean, why you cooking with grease? Right, what you. grade was this? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so it was my second movie, you know what I'm saying? It was the gospel. Mm -hmm. And nigga, all I did was deliver flowers to the door. Right. But nigga, when I came back, he was like, cut, God damn it, let's do that again. Boy, you good. <laughs> You cook it with grease, you are good. That's the 93 premium. Yeah, yeah, that's my man. Hey, and then they got some days of flowers, and all of a sudden he did Zell. You know what I mean? Then they put me on like two more scenes. Come on, man. It's the walk up. Did you skip? No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? I delivered. Uh, nod it, okay. smile, yeah. and lift. Oh, yeah. ah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait till you and leave. Peace and out. Leave. Peace and leave. out. But he turned. He turned around. He turned around. And said bye. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the bang did. But <laughs> bye, oh, me. Oh my god. Oh, shit. So they cast you as a basketball player. Turn you deliver. They always made me a security guard. Everything I ever been in. Everything you in security. <laughs> I like 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 <laughs> got some little COVID weight on still. That's about 200. That's a Monte Carlo Swisher. <laughs> well, could you talk about, you had recently like some traumatic shit happening to you and your girl. Like, how have y'all bounced back from yeah, like man. the home invasion? Like, because you've been Fuck like, it's a crazy man. goddamn shit. year for you, but your spirit's still up. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Bro, so, yeah, spirit, I love it. I just got to, yeah, because that's a lot of things. Like, I always been like, like I said, that's all I know. So, I, I always had to be like this and deal with this kind of stuff. Like, I didn't have a job to fall back home and I'm going to take a year off and do like I always, something had to happen to me, but this was my way of getting money. I had to bounce back some way. So, crazy thing with my girl in that situation is, um, it, it just was the most, I, that's the most scared I've ever been because yeah, I wasn't there. You weren't there, yeah. bro. I'm on FaceTime. That shit hurt me. And no niggas in my crib and I'm not there. Right. <laughs> So the only thing that kept me calm is knowing that I I, I talk to her about this situation all the time. Like, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna take you back. So when I first got the house, you know what I'm saying? The the, the, um, the security company man was like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I want camera right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. He's like, you're in, where are you from? Like St. Louis. I mean, you you're in a, you're in a safe spot. You don't have to think like that. I don't want to take your money. You just need the you need the, the camera to look at the both entries, and you need the um the stuff on the window to um. The trigger the alarm. The, yeah, the um, yeah, sensors. The sensors alarm. Yeah. Therefore, nobody can hear it. They come to the window, boom. But why would I charge you all this money for all this? You're good. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'm, I am tripping, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right. Got so, some yard. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'm overreacting. Boom, boom, boom. That haunted me. Mm. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's messed up. But you're going to have to go to Patreon to get that story. Just follow this. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, she broke it, and then it went out the back. But it, the good thing is, this, it was so close, mm -hmm. like this, like right here, mm -hmm. it wasn't able to break up, and okay, like you know what I'm saying, through, like yes. it was just clean through. It was almost boom, boom. So Whew. yeah, so she was that, and um, she started back walking a week later, started back talking, got her smile back, this and that. She get the brace took off. Tomorrow. Oh, word, man. Come on. Four weeks on, man. man. Yeah, God is good. And, and man, I could. Hey, give her this. Cause <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, for real, bro. For real, man. Y'all.
are strong in more ways than one, man. Bro, your spirit is so good and like infectious. And then that what really hurt me about that is I had to deal with. I had a million tweets saying, "Yeah, here, man, at that level, man, he's he's getting famous, and he he had, he, he had to sacrifice somebody." That shit, the what Illuminati don't shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, got I'm like, bro, yeah, I'm like, and I and I made me just realize how wrong I probably been so much growing up thinking about all that wild stuff we heard about celebs, and because I'm like, these people are retarded. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, so I had to deal with that because I was really I was really hurt, bro. I was like. Just not being able to, not being, not, you know what I'm saying? It was just crazy, man. But she, she held it down. The dog really saved it because the dog woke up first. Because even though her phone be on loud when I'm out of town, anyway, she gonna hear me. Yeah. But my dog Benny Jr. barked and uh, got on her P's and Q's because she under the fan and yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But I, I, I made it my business that from from that point on, she like we ready. Like I don't give a fuck. We ready. Gonna see, we ready. Gonna do it exactly how I knew I should have did it first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like to knew whatever. Like we ready. She gonna be ready with the gun range every day. She gonna be able to shoot all this stuff. Like like I told her, like, hey, don't be scared. Don't let niggas scare you at your home. Cause like I said, we gonna be ready anywhere we move to, and you gonna be able to handle these guns, and you gonna know you got your advantage in your house. Like mm-hmm. these niggas, somebody coming, you got your advantage, man. So, Two thousand rounds in her, like yeah. you, the, the, the SWAT walking there. You got a Go good crazy. chance to be good. Like <laughs> yeah. 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 same niggas that be running up in the stores and yeah. bashing yeah, shit, all this dumb ass shit. shit, bro. Yeah, so like man. I said, I, I ain't even, bro. I was so, I, I was so mad. I wanted to do something so bad. I ain't even get a cops. None of my foot. I ain't got no footage. I don't yeah. know who did. I don't know. Y'all got me, man, bro. Yeah. I was man, like they ain't gonna do shit any yeah, fucking way, right, bro. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro. So I was, man. I, I was my thoughts, man, bro. I was in a dark. I was in a dark place. Yeah. At that yeah. time, I was saying like, cause I couldn't back. Cause I wasn't playing. Like, don't did don't do nothing to me, bro. Don't tweak no stupid shit. If you are old op back in the day, be careful. Somebody gonna gotta get it. Like somebody's gonna. I'm a. You gonna somebody can say some funny shit that ain't the fun, right time, and I'm gonna snap. Like, mm-hmm. just leave me alone. All the funny jokes y'all said, leave me alone right now. I'm not yeah. even in a. Like, well, I better did something to you. Hell yeah, bro. So like, like but I, I'm my way better. She good, like better. I'm good, man. Blessed. Yeah, man. So yeah. Word, man. We so, glad you back at it, man. You sure. so, so listen, nigga. You know, I've, I've been hearing things. You know, I'm from the West Coast. You know, you my dog too. So mm-hmm. is 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 the battle? I'm thinking coming up. Is it coming up? But well, they trying to put it together. Okay. Mm-hmm. But they, so, uh, uh, Geechee got it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they trying. To, yeah, they content, trying. They trying. Yeah. To, they threw back. they threw a couple of names at me and his, his name was definitely one. And Got everybody thinks he's one worth coming back. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. And then like I said, man, um, Mike, he he definitely the face over there. Mm-hmm. He could be he good with his business of the rap part too, though. You know what, what you mean? Geechee. Oh, you saying like yeah, he's getting he did. I mean, I think he's getting way better because first, I mean, he used to battle a lot. Mm-hmm. I used to tell him sometimes like, yo, bro, you. So now yeah. you the man over there, like you gonna run out of battles. But I think he kind of, but I mean, he to his defense, like he he show up every time. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Start like, his own league and all start that. Start his own yeah. league, got his podcast. He um just beat loaded Lux. It's a great win. Yeah, it's a yeah. great win. Yeah, yeah. It's a great he went crazy. Win. He, he been like he been he been if he been giving the people a show. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So now they take you ready to stand in front of that man? What's yeah. up? Oh yeah, come on, man. This that, I need I need hey, to this see. Thing, he got so this. Look, he he like this here. The thing is with that is. Every time somebody got hot for the last 10 years, they sent them to me. Uh, I'm used to this. <laughs> uh, yeah. You like playing with hot Now, on some real shit, a lot of niggas are on just from battling him, just from even standing across from him and doing well. I burned so many stars. Yeah. Like, nigga, on, nigga don't even have to win. Nah, you don't have to win. Like, you could just be like, oh, this is your don't just have, just have a good show in the front of yeah, yeah. you. Your number, your price changed, and your bookings go up. Mm. Every, I did it my whole career. Yeah, What's the that, battle you want? What's the, like, the, 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 the I'm him. I ain't no battle. Ain't right. no battle. Yeah. They gotta come to him. And the early, the early Hitman Holler really shaped the culture of battle rap. Yeah, you know there's what a lot of stuff I like, did that they don't give me credit for. I, I made it cool for people to jump in rounds and ad lib your brother mm-hmm. or your cousin and oh, say bring something. Some I started bad, off, bring bro. shit back. I, I, I brought a category to rap. Like if you look before me, it wasn't no battle. It wasn't nobody had performance under their attributes. It was a, it was aggressive, lyrical, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A punchline. Yeah. I added performance. Yeah. I'm the reason that's in there. 
I'm gonna tell you that. <laughs> bro, bro, I brought real. Do be real. Me and my dog. a lot of dudes in there. Me and my dog, A Bird, man. Me and my dog, A Bird, man. We the reason women start coming to battle rap, bro. Never mix it up on stage. It's too many niggas, dog. It's still too many niggas. It is, but it get kind of. Yeah, it's like the pit. It get kind of feisty on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you got to. You got. You come up there trying to be cool with seven, eight girls or nothing. They yeah, shove yeah, you all. Yeah. Now your I man, bitch, I last your man, they yeah. get up there. <laughs> <laughs> Shut yeah. up. Uh -uh. I didn't come here to do it. Yeah. I don't even rap. It's a goddamn. <laughs> but shout out to the female rappers because they be going in too, oh, man. Yeah, they, man. Go yeah, hard like, too. they go really hard, bro. Mm -hmm. Females go really hard. Yeah, you and get what? So I know you, you, you. Lack of a better term, a free agent, you ain't just URL, yeah. RB. So if you and, and Geech got together, I'd be URL or RB. It's whatever. It's whatever, it's whatever you want. Whatever they at. Yeah, right. book it. Yeah, they know oh, so, so they like they like uh, like boxing promoters right now. Yeah, it's like whoever, well, yeah. They know because oh. with me, it's always. But I know for a minute, niggas couldn't really just leave URL and come back. Like, they exactly, they couldn't. You. Because, yeah, because a lot of them people ain't got no got no buzz on their own, mm -hmm. on demand, or they wore it out. Mm -hmm. The times you could have did it, now you done had three battles that have been mediocre. Now nah, you can't it. say it because they like, go on about your business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of, uh, you yeah. did Bird of Book yet? You, you battled him before? No, nah, no. Nah. He's supposed to be backed out, so that shit ain't. Yeah. Luke don't be battling no more, for real, for real. He said he want Drake. <laughs> yeah, he don't be battling no more, for real. Yeah. Tay Rock went crazy on that nigga in the little quiet room shit. But you know what I'm saying? So, is there somebody when you were first coming up, you was like, nigga, that's the one. I knocked, I knocked that motherfucker off. Yeah, when I first coming up, it was T Rex and Murder Moose and all. Yeah, you know, they was. Them dogs, they was the king of the New yeah. York scene. Like, that's where it came from. So you look like, who up there doing it? Like, I need it. So it was definitely them names for sure. But then I started realizing, like, man, whoever stepped in front of me just got to get it. I made his album all over, y'all. Yeah. Classic battles, man. I fucking love battle rap, man. If y'all ain't fucking with battle rap, start right now. Because the shit is, I put battle rap, when I'm writing, I put battle rap on just kind of in that's the background. Yeah, that's tight, bro. That's, that's tight because, like I said, battle rap and comedian and stand up is to, is it the same cousins? Like they the same probably blood? The, probably the similar thought process when it comes. It's to definitely. It's really definitely. Similar. No, listen, matter of fact, it is because you gotta, you gotta set up your you gotta set up your jokes with your punchlines. Mm -hmm. So you just can't say a funny joke just then. You gotta set that funny joke up. So I gotta set the punchline. I just can't say. Like J.R. Smith, I gotta say <laughs> I'm gonna shoot as soon as I come in. Like you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I gotta set it up. It's the same thing. Yeah, I got to memorize on stage. I can't really come up and read all the paper mm -hmm. unless it's a skit. Like, what's the card do? What's it, Deion Cole? You just do, you <laughs> oh, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, like, you do like that, right. you kind of, but like, mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah, I got to memorize. Paper, I, uh, too many people know. I, for, I mean, I just, it looked like fire. <laughs> nah, that's fire. That's fire. <laughs> so, um, so you definitely can't do that. Um, the only thing that's different, the only reason I think Battle Rap harder, because I had some arguments with comedians. The only oh, reason I think, let me, let me tell y'all, let me <laughs> no, show oh, nigga. I'm glad. Y'all got no, rhyme, though. The only reason, <laughs> that too, but the only, the only reason Battle Rap Hard is because if you come up with a nice hour skit, an hour, I can do it again. you can say that for 50 cities until you got decide you. to do your thing. True. I got to make up 25 minutes worth of material every, every time, time yeah. I step on the thing. You know how fire... I must my easy in my life being if I could have said my yeah. bird rhyme so we feel, five times. We feel, we feel the same way about niggas that make songs. It's like once you got a hit, you could say that that's shit. That's what I'm saying. That's why they that's what our, our jokes we yeah, gotta kinda tweak them every single every time city. too. Just but to that's what sure. Snoop Dogg said. Shout out Snoop because we had he had booked us to do a the gladiator gladiator event. Mm -hmm. And he booked us. He was like, Man, what I, his his plan was to take battle rap on the road, but don't put the footage out into the last city. So you do eighteen cities, you can say your same Stuff oh, yeah. and then chop off the best stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The That's only thing he had to deal with was probably this the, the, the leak footage that he was telling on that camera, but he was trying to do that because he was like, it ain't no way, hey man, you can't get paid for your battle versus arsenal, yo, or your man what? Yeah. But I can go perform gin and juice right now. Mm -hmm. Right now. Like, yeah. Right? yeah, for a big bag. But yeah. I can't go up there and say the coldest say shit the coldest. I done thought of. Mm -hmm. I thought of. That's I real. can't say it again. Ooh, that's real. That's if you can only get one Shabak. Yeah. Oh, one Shabak. Oh, shit. One think about how much that would hurt. Praise the Lord. He wouldn't get all the glory. Ooh, Ooh. So, I wouldn't. I got so that's, you. You're right. So that's right. the only reason I say battle no, rap. Right. You got me on that one. I got a question because I know you conceded. Y'all. Y'all go on the y'all to a college just like just like we do. It's usually like a, uh -huh. a, a battle rapper, comedian on there, like kind of like they combine the wild yeah, now. Yeah. Have you ever bombed at <laughs> school or anywhere? Yeah, the thing is, the reason why it's hard for me to bomb is because I don't do much. <laughs> I, like I come out, they scream. I get the mic, they scream. I 
say any uh, old pickup killer scream. Like I don't have to say nothing. I don't even say nothing where they. I know what I'm gonna say for real. Like, like the difference is like with y'all. Like you said, you got to say them jokes and say it. I come and be the star and rap. Like if I come if I wanna somebody might say, yeah man, spit a freestyle or something. I'm just gonna rap. I don't come out there like, hey man, I just, I just left him. Let me tell you what the Uber like. I don't do that. <laughs> I tried it once. I tried yeah, it once. Yeah, 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 my nigga did yeah, a set, so, bro. So, so, uh, yeah, he talk he about it. Now, let me yeah. tell you. So let me tell you how this came about. So, like I said, what usually happens is when they put me on a show with a comedian, I had a, I had them bring me out towards the middle of the show, and I just do a let me holler. And they be like, you know what, man, I'm going to bring my partner out. I'm going to show you how to do it. I come out, they go crazy. I do it, let me out, they go crazy. I just chill in the back. They say, yeah, you going to show with Tyler and Darren. This is now. I'm like, yo, who the host? They're like, nah, you the host. Yeah. So I'm like, who going to bring me out? <laughs> I'm like, nah, nah, we going to bring you out first. So my plan is dead. I can't have Tyler bring me out. I can't have Darren bring me out. So I'm like, and bro, I done turned down, I ain't going to lie, I done turned down a half a million dollars worth of just Come host Ooh. comedy show because I know you need at least five, ten minutes just in between yeah. the beef. And I'm never done it. I'm cool. So I'm like, you know what? That's right. Stop being scared. Let me try it this time. Come on. Come on. Tyler yeah. ain't going to bring me out. Dan ain't going to bring me out. I'm going to come out host. I'm going to do five minutes before I bring each of them out. Boom, 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 boom. I was nervous. I was so scared. I'm like, I called Tyler, like, bro. I'm just going to do five minutes before I bring you out this and that. He like, man, so backstage, they all like, he people back there like, why are you nervous? Don't you do this all the time? I'm like, no. This is my first time. Because he, he hit me up. Because, you know, I'm giving him, like, kind of just hosty shit to do. Yeah, you know, bring right, people right. up, play songs, you know what I'm saying? Get yeah. through your shit. He's like, nah, nigga, I, 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 I want to try this. So let me try this. Yeah. Let me try it. So I came out, you know what I'm saying? I, I thought of a whole list, list, little, um, little set, like, you know what I'm saying? For so the shit plane that ride. To him that day. Yeah, like the plane oh, ride. Yeah. Oh, man, <laughs> the Uber, fan game. I just really got to it. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Like I said, that did good. Mm-hmm. And then I did my second one. I did the little with the ladies. I just found my little squad. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So Come I'm on, like, man. I finally get that climbed, money, nigga. I finally climbed up playing. there. Yeah. Get that half of the milli. Yeah. <laughs> right. Y'all need me to come host the... something, man. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. If you don't need a Husky yeah. rider, just get me a seat better station yeah. in the goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> a seat better and in a fedora. And a fedora, <laughs> and a fedora <laughs> my boy, is on the way. I want you four XTs and we in that bit. Man. man. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. man I know you, like I said, I know you don't do this, man. You got a lot of shit going on. I appreciate y'all having it. It was fun, bro. You got to deal with this real. shit, nigga. Mm-hmm. And you from St. Louis. And you still got to go back to St. Louis sometimes. So, I how was that now? I go to St. Louis December 22nd to, for a toy drive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You got to a multi-city yeah. toy drive, right? Talk about yeah, it well, this ain't really multi-city. This is like the second city. First year, last Christmas was Atlanta. This Christmas, St. Louis. But it's an idea now I'm going to do New Orleans next year. I'm going like, to just do every Christmas I'm going to do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know you can do virtual. You can let them go on and go. You can just tap in on the screen. Tap in on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> let them go, nigga. Yeah, I touch yeah. the But I, I, try to, um, I try to stay away from St. Louis because, like I said, a lot of any problem I would have from old beef or old stuff decisions I made from the game banging back in the day and all that stuff, the problems will be from there. So me going there, I try to stay low because, like I said, I know what it is. I know I see certain people. It's just shit that ain't never squashed. It's just so I just stay away from it. You know sure. what I'm saying? Stay but I, I mean, like it ain't. You know, I don't. I still go back. Like I go back and stuff, but I just know because I was. It was at a point where I was one of people's favorite cast members on Wild and Out. 2018, I started my name. I don't go to St. Louis. I'm fighting, getting locked up. And, all this dumb shit, like, I gotta, shit. I gotta leave. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, we've been seeing that a lot, especially with people in the game, you know, the rap game, man, you know, going home could be treasure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fucking yeah, favorite. Like, people, like, like Boosie said, man, the most, the most killings happen to rappers in their cities. Mm-hmm. By rappers your crib, in their like your neighborhood people, damn near, bro. bro. You understand, I'm in Atlanta, like, right now, I'm in Atlanta, I see them, I ain't got no, if you don't like me, it's gotta be something that just happened, like, my yeah. girl like you, or they ain't no right. serious, serious nothing. Mm-hmm. St. Louis, you know what I'm saying? I could have oh, beat up shit. your cousin in, Saint, in high school, or we had a bunch of games. Like, it's your first time seeing. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of little stuff. Or niggas feel like, man, I ain't where you at. Now you from where I'm at. Why is this show, nigga? Fuck like it's hidden. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. nigga blocked me in the EI video. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like, I still got beef with this nigga. was standing in front of me in the EI video. <laughs> nigga, I was gonna be, I was gonna go up. I was gonna be old, man. We was in the eighth grade. I can't believe this nigga. Yeah, I was gonna be the lunatic Julius all day. Yeah, they came from the underlays. Then a lot of times what happened is, 
you might gain a different respect from the world, and then niggas be so pressed to, that it ain't them. Like, I know, like, if me and you from the same man, niggas love you and know my hitman be fine here, ain't no pussy, this and that. And I'm from the same, I'm like, I'm that too. Like, like you ain't nothing. Like, they are, like, that's the problem. Cause oh, yeah. this world look at me and it's like, because that's where I am, but I'm from where you from and you know that I came. So, of course, you ain't look at me like that yeah. because you grew from the same, you know. Uh, he probably ain't no pussy no, but they looking like he just this. I'm that for real, so nigga, yeah. I'm gonna show y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, let me show you. He ain't that for real. I'm that like bunch of that dumb shit, bro. Yeah. And then, you know, so gotta stay away from it. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, Cause I, I just didn't realize, bro. Like I see why. Like back then, you don't see. I ain't see. I ain't see the world. So fighting every day was cool. Waiting to see the ops somewhere. That was fun. That was our fun. Mm -hmm going to clubs to fight. That was our fun. Now it's like, fun is this Puerto Rico trip or watching my family enjoy these gifts I was able to get from this check and this and that or buying her, my mama a car, buying my little sister a car. You know what I'm saying? Like buying my girl a car, buying my first house and me a car, me G-Wagon, like girls going crazy every city. Like this the life that I love now. Yeah. Me prove me finna fight you for what? Like it don't even make it ain't add no. Oh, you in jail, me in jail ain't even the same in jail. Yeah. Now I'm in jail, forty people affected by that. You yeah. in jail, nobody even writes you. Even nobody ain't even seen no man in your books. Like I'm yeah, cool, nigga. bro. Y'all can have that tough shit. That's why I try to and I try to keep my girl on game. I try to stay away from shit. I'm like, yo, I just avoid it. It's cool. Like when you get older, you realize like certain stuff ain't. Like back then, like nigga couldn't really look at me wrong. It's like, what's up, bro? Yeah. Now it's like, right on. As long as you don't touch me, if I shoot you, I'm brainless. You shoot me, you yeah, brainless. Yeah, yeah, like nigga to do. Nigga to do. Yeah. Shit. yeah. So, but shout out to the uh, Motor Culture Gun Club. We we started up um, yes, just because of this type of situation. We went on like a um, a retreat, got some tactical training and mm -hmm. shit. But we gonna try to double down on that in 2022. But it started with women, so so we travel. Women, you know well, women, women need it the, the most because a man instinct is to survive. So we already kind of, you know what I'm saying? It always can get better and learn the right way. But women are nurturers and they don't really like my girl. It just put me in a mindset like if, if that was me, like you'd be nervous all that. But you know. I gotta, I gotta protect this house. Mm -hmm. They gonna have to kill me here. That's just gonna come. Like yeah. whether you can be told not, that your whole life. Yeah, you yeah. told that. Mm -hmm. So hers really like, like she was knowing that she had to shoot to, to, to um, save herself, and she was still kind of yeah. girly and nurse. Like you know what I'm saying? It kicked in, but it take that long to kick because they ain't, they ain't right. them. Yeah, they we not them. caring about who the fuck is on the other side. Yeah, yeah. it's Make like sure y'all get some therapy though. Don't want to sit yeah. with all that shit That's on you. Nah, sure nah. The funny thing is, yeah, my girl, because this ain't. This ain't the first time something like, like she'd have been involved in some little wild shit because of who she go with and who she with and people hating and you know what I'm saying? Shootouts and motherfuckers shooting at her. Like it's a bunch of wild shit. My girl is a soldier and strong. Like she definitely gonna see a thorough because like I said, she a soldier for even being able to just still smile after yeah, that. Like, right, you, know, for sure. you know what I'm saying? Picture a girl that's five foot, 108 pounds with a multi-pool multi -pool dog yes. in a big house with four niggas in there. And she able to sit there and, and got shot. Man. That's crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My girl got shot in the face. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, crazy. bro. Get yeah, mad right now again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hell yeah. yeah. Like, what the yeah. fuck, bro? Yeah. My wife be shit. And that be the worst. Shot. And that be the worst when you don't know who. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know who. Like, I'd rather somebody said it and then put the name on it. Like, it was this. It was this hood. What you gonna do, punk? Yeah. Instead of just not knowing. Like, it could have been Tyler. Right. <laughs> I don't know. Like, you yeah. don't know. So that's the worst. Like. But you know, I learned that like I need therapy. Yeah, that's <laughs> you know what I'm saying. saying? Yeah. Like, I need therapy. I'm nigga, sure everybody at this table do. Therapy, yeah. yeah, I'm it's sure the cool kid who got do. shot and learned this, learned the lesson going to people's houses. I bet you that shit. Come yeah. on, yeah. maybe, maybe not. These motherfuckers, that shit be they on. They be yeah. they everything. See, man. That be they goal. Mm -hmm. It don't matter. Like shooting, like man, yeah, these, yeah, man. You gotta do a part two, bro. You got dog. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get you out for real, coach. Cousin, nah, this gonna be yeah, nah, that's for sure. This gonna be this gonna go up. How to goddamn. Yeah, I got it for sure. I'm telling you, like, I, man, we're gonna. Send him in and let that motherfucker fly yeah, out. Yeah, I'm telling you for sure. Yeah, Appreciate y'all having me. About that show, time, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do the comment real quick, man. It was one I skipped over last time you sent okay, it to me, man. man. And it was, uh, damn, I don't know who it was from, but I don't. It, it don't even matter because you're funny. Nigga said Tyler got on the Cheryl Miller sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> you know who said that? 
Oh, man, if you get, I'm going to try to find out. That was Ryan again. That was Ryan Random. Ryan Random. Ryan Random been cooking. We always want to make two comments and niggas be roasting. Oh, that be roasting. Yeah, yeah, so we got to shout him out. Shout out Ryan Random again. He always kill us, man. So niggas have a shit on my little sweat, man. I had on my little, I had on my GED sweat, but a little tight red joint. Cheryl Miller. Cheryl Miller's on, man. They were small as shit. Oh, shit, Cheryl Miller's sweat, man. <laughs> you can see your calf muscle through his sweat. <laughs> yeah, that's what I had on. I'm sure, man. Fuck, that nigga said, what's in new face pockets? Bruce Bruce ponytail holder. <laughs> Kilo Ali I cocaine know. straw. And a ticket stub to, <laughs> to Super Bowl 1. <laughs> Super Bowl 1. <laughs> that's funny. Who said that shit? He said that was a new face pocket. Shout out to new face. He's everywhere. Yeah, yeah my dog. Man. It is that time. Yes, sir. Yes, this was fire. Where am I? Where am I? I got 3,000 mentions since I sat down. <laughs> tell them you yeah, tell them, tell them for morning culture and merch for high right now. Yeah, tell them you talk, you talk about it all on the show. Tell them you bless sure. yeah, 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 they're going yeah, they to like this. So, yeah, we like to end the shows with a segment we call Secret Genius Life Coach. We'll give the people some words of wisdom. Mm-hmm. Get through the week. Get mm-hmm. to the next episode. Mm-hmm. I am Kamal Secret Genius. The words of the week are this. Um. I was in an Uber not too long ago. <laughs> and that nigga asked me for a charge. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's like, nigga. <laughs> I'm supposed to ask you for the game, nigga. What are you talking about? <laughs> this nigga, he was like, man. Charges don't work. My phone about to die. <laughs> Your phone about to die. <laughs> 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 so how are you going to take you to your destination? You know how to get there? Nah. Oh. <laughs> Bitch, you passed four gas stations before you got me. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, my phone about to die. You, you know how to get there. Uh, but if my phone do cut off, you probably going to get a free ride. Because <laughs> if... If you're not using the, the Uber GPS shit, it cancel the ride. And the driver ain't use it. So, uh, I don't really even know what the wisdom is in that, but I always be prepared. Be ready I'll for the job prepared. you got. Always, always, be don't always be prepared. Don't ask. I'll always be prepared. Don't ask a nigga for the shit. Bro, He's please say it again. Yeah. <laughs> always, always, always be prepared. Always be prepared. That's a t-shirt. Always be prepared. That's your name. Prepared. That's funny as hell. Prepared with 14 R's in it. Yeah, there's a lot of lessons in that shit. And then, hold on. I'm sorry. I forgot a very important part. This nigga asked me to get him a free ride. I forgot a very important part. This nigga asked me to give him a five-star rate. You <laughs> your bitch ass out of here. If you don't ask, you don't receive. <laughs> you don't yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. I, I'm finna write so a long ass paragraph. Well, I said if I got you to your destination, though. You good. <laughs> you kind of did that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you got my butt. To his credit, I, I ain't know that no matter what kind of car you drive, mm-hmm. they make you start as an Uber X. Because mm-hmm. that nigga was driving a, a 2019 Lexus LS 450. And I paid that nigga $13. Oh my God. Come on, to take me along. Yeah, yeah. Tight seat, man. You pulled up like a luxury hip hop cat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga pulled up like air conditioning. That nigga couldn't get in the luxury section. Give me five sex. stars, but I'm trying to get my ranking up so I can do Uber Lexus. Let's go shopping and get a charger right now. Oh, shit. Morning Coach is the brand. It's the Morning Coach Show. Come on, Secret Genius. We won't ride. Tyler Chronicles, Ronnie Jordan, special guest. Mr. Ball Gate, man. Hey, you already hey, know. Man. 26 a game, nigga. Come yeah. on, 26 man. 26.6. 26. 26.